Hi all viewers, uh, welcome to Innocence Online Maths. Please click the subscribe button, please. Thank you. We have a problem here on bearing. If the bearing of X from Y is 120 degrees, what is the bearing of Y from X? Bearing of X from Y is 120 degrees. So now, we, first of all, that means you have to locate where point Y is. Then we have this mass. We have our four cardinal points, the north, the east, the south, and the west. Point, this is this now, this particular cardinal point represents y. Now, the bearing of x from this y is 120 degrees. That means you measure 120 degrees from the north in clockwise direction. That means this is where the north is, and then clockwise, you go down. Now, you measure 120 degrees, though it's not to scale. So, from here to here is 90. Then 120 should be between south and east. So, at this point, we will draw a straight line from the point here. And then we can stop at this point. Where the point stop, we draw another four cardinal point across that point. That, that point this point now represents point X. So, we also have north, east, south, and we have west. So, from the north up to this point is 120 degrees. Now, so the bearing of x from y is 120. That means from the north to this point is 120. Now, what is the bearing of y from x? Bearing of y from x. Now, that means we are talking about the angle from the north to clockwise direction to the line that joins between x and y. Now, that means this angle from this point up to this point and then to get the angle simply we can get this angle here from here to here is 180 degrees angle on the straight line now 180 minus 120 that means this particular angle is 60 degrees and you can see this angle and this angle are alternate angle 60 degrees because these two lines are parallel now if you have this now, the next you can easily get this angle because the whole the sum of the angle is 360 degrees for the four point points. Now we can simply remove 60 degrees from 360 degrees. That means we have 360 degrees minus 60 degrees. That gives us 300 degrees. That means the bearing of y from x now the bearing of y from x is 300 degrees. That means from the north to clockwise direction to this point. Stay under the place. Thanks for watching.